name is Kelsey Caldwell, and I was born and raised in the Clearwater Valley in North Central Idaho. And now, as an adult, I get to teach to that same group of students. I say all of that because that's what really piqued my interest when I went to a professional development training on blended learning. It was that connection to rural students that made me walk up and put my name on a list of teachers who were really interested in becoming a blended teacher if my district decided to be part of the blended consortium. Well, they did, and I ended up becoming a blended teacher, and that's what started my journey. Um, honestly, just my experience as a blended teacher has created more growth in me as a teacher than all of my other years as a teacher. Um, it's because I have so much less administration time. I am pushing way less papers, and I really get to spend way more time in my classroom with one-on-one -on -one time with students. More of my time gets to go to instructional strategies. Um, I get to really analyze my kids' personalities, and I get to create my instruction more towards that and their learning styles and I get to individualize my instruction so much more. My kids are always saying, Miss C, I get so much more time with you. I get so much more one-on-one -on -one time with you. Um, I get to map my strategies now and I get to map my standards now um, rather than like pulling my hair out and stressed out because I just feel like I'm trying to survive or I'm just trying to keep up. Now I feel like I get to be creative and I feel like I'm ahead of the curve a little bit because I get to leverage the technology so much to my advantage and my students' advantage. Um, but all of this has not come without its, <laughs> its struggles and without its challenges. Um, I say all of this too with, and I've put the framework graphic um, in my video because in the process of everything that I did with blended learning, I, Nicole, came out with their framework document and their framework graphic, and when they did, it was the perfect articulation of everything I was experiencing, and it was so helpful for me when I was talking to people about blended learning, and so I really wanted to include that because it helps me talk about blended learning so much. And that was the first challenge that I really faced in blended learning, was just wrapping my head around the application of blended learning in my classroom. It was just the mindset and the vision of what it was going to look like for me. And so I spent a lot of time strategizing with the other math teachers in my building, with Garrett Bretz and Jody Brown, and with Teresa Carter, who was my blended learning rep. And I spent countless nights at home doing flow charts and writing on papers and doing all those different things to see what did I want my classroom to really look like. Um, there were lots of other things, infrastructure, cost, organizational strategies, but the challenge I really wanted to talk about in my video was in rural Idaho, there are still students, even in the 21st century, of my students who they don't even have internet at home. And there are still tons of my students that they have cell phones and they have all these different things and they use technology in a lot of informal ways. But to bring technology into their life in a formal way, um, I knew it was going to be a challenge for them. And, and then to do it in math. I, I do math. And so math is a whole other language too. And so for me, I spent months uh, researching strategies. You know, people talk a lot like, math and technology that they integrate so easily. And, and I think that conversation's out there, but the application of that maybe isn't out there as much as people think. So I researched and I did technology strategies and I did all of these things over and over and over. And then I thought, okay, this is still a little too complicated. So I would simplify it down. And, and my technology skills are really good, but they grew significantly. And then I would research and problem solve and, and, and go crazy with my technology and then I go, okay, this is still too complicated and I would strategize it down. But I realized when I got into my classroom that um, maybe my students weren't quite as tech savvy even as I had anticipated. And uh, I ended up doing a little paper survey a couple weeks in and was still very surprised. My students had to choose, do you think you're very tech savvy, kind of tech savvy, or not tech savvy at all? And I had a lot of students choose not tech savvy at all. And you know, again, in that framework, we talk about qualities. And um, with my students, I just talked about, you know, we are gonna get through it, and we're gonna persevere. And I was just really pushed consistency. I knew what I wanted my classroom to look like, and we were gonna get there. 
I always told my kids, I'm never going to chuck you under the bus, and we're going to make it. Um, when I interviewed my kids at the end of first quarter, all of them said, we hated it. We hated it at the beginning, but we love it now. And we made it. And it was really hard, but we never quit. And uh, the skills that they gained, and this was part of my vision, that they need for their life have been amazing. And so we pushed hard, we made it, they adapted, I adapted, and it was awesome. So to wrap up my video, one thing I also really wanted to say is um, another resource that really helped me with, with some of my stuff with there were people in my life. Some of those people were Teresa Carter, my blended learning rep. She has been absolutely amazing, amazing and has become one of my great friends. Nick Hoffman, a veteran teacher from Wallace, so look up to that guy. He's still just adapting for current student needs, and I think that's amazing, and I hope I am one of those teachers. Um, Will Demi, one of the tech guys in my blended consortium, always, always great, and always handles me with grace. Love to be a blended teacher, love what it does for me and for my students, and I never want to go back. I never want to go back to the old way of teaching.